I went and worked in Perth for the arts department of the WA government. That was one of my favourite jobs. Oh, how long did you do that for? Oh, uh, like two or three years. I was. That's where I started comedy. Was actually in Perth, so that's how I know like Mike, Mike Goldstein and um, those sort of comics. So and Claire Hooper. So I, yeah, I was in Perth for a normal job to get out of teaching, and then I was like, oh, I don't live here. I may as well do comedy. I've always thought about doing it. Okay. So that's when I started comedy over there. And what were you doing in uh, in arts and WA arts? I was a, like an arts administrator, like a project assistant, like in the Indigenous arts area of work, working in that, the grant giving out bit, which was. I love those people. Big oh, so people. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it was my favorite job I've ever had, I think. Um, and then. Sucked in, bake off. <laughs> Whoops, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> my favourite lowest paid job I've ever had. Um, <laughs> this is a lot more eclectic I, than I thought, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> in my head it was just like school and then teaching and then comedy at some point. No, I sort of hated teaching. Teaching is really, it's a lot of emotional labor. It's very, very tiring. Um, you can glean that from how you talk about it on stage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know that you had a background in teaching. So I just kept seeing like how much material you would put out about high school and shit like that. And every time I'd just be like, man, Mel's high school experience was fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. And how does she remember yeah. so much of it? So yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so, I, yeah, so I, I when I got Bake Off, though, I was back at a school, I think that was the a year, it must have been about four or five years ago, I decided not to do the Melbourne Comedy Festival because I wasn't getting rid of comedy, I wasn't sort of making a lot of money. And so I think I went back to teaching for two terms in special ed and then I got the Bake Off audition. So I flew down and did the first audition, flew down and did the second audition, and then I got the call at, at school that I got the job. So I kind of did go f- straight from teaching to Bake Off is how it kind of is on paper, but also like not really because in the background you're, doing, you're also doing lots of comedy stuff. Mm. Yeah. And when you quit a teaching job when you're teaching special ed, is it, I assume it's like most other jobs, you just kind of announce it to the kids, flip them off and leave the classroom? <laughs> Um, there it is. I, I tried to think, do I tell them and have this whole term of pain of them whinging that I'm going, or do I not tell them and take the coward's way out and tell them on the last day of school? So the amount of whinging is smaller. <laughs> and so at 2.50 on the last day of school. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Massapur, Isaiah, Brendan, i got some news. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I didn't tell them until like probably the, cause the teachers were talking about, I think they got, gave me some presents or a morning tea or something. So I, the kids found out maybe one day before the end of term and they were like, please don't leave this bottle, this bottle, don't leave. And I was like, I must go. The TV <laughs> needs me. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't get it. Cause they didn't, they don't, they don't think that teachers have any life outside of teaching. So they were just like, Okay, you're gonna go and be on the TV. Okay, like I think they thought I was just going to another school and didn't want to tell them or whatever. So, um, yes. And then since then, bake off, bake off, bake off, bake off. Comedy, 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 comedy. Mm-hmm. And here, and here we are. Yeah, like just like that. Um, just like that. <laughs> this was the same school where I lost it one day because I was throwing rubbish on the floor. And I ran some sort of competition to see at the end of the lesson who would pick the rubbish up. Like Australian Idol was big at the time. So I had like names on the board and everyone voted. And the, the person everyone voted for had to pick up every bit of rubbish at the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so you had like a punishment idol? <laughs> yes, yes. Because <laughs> I'm, 20, I'm 22 coming up with these genius ideas, right? And so everyone until the lesson ended through all that, like ripped every page out of their book and scrunched up and threw it on the floor and stuff. 
And then I was like, okay, uh, Maria, the bell's gone. It's you, you've lost. You have to pick up all the rubbish. And she just walked out. And I was like, Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh man, that visual of you just standing there realizing that you're now picking up all the rubbish that you've created for yourself. <laughs> the rubbish was like this deep on the floor. It was like the whole there was no carpet, just a sea of white paper. And I just like filled up so many bins and oh fucking hell. Anyway, so that's when I was like, you know what, fuck these kids, they're assholes. You don't need them. Um, <laughs> There must oh, have been no, no. a couple of questionable things that you did where <laughs> maybe with hindsight you were like, oh, no, that wouldn't, that wouldn't fly. Um, I guess uh, challenging Brendan, a kid called Brendan who was in special ed to a rap battle, which he had no chance of winning, was probably a little bit unorthodox. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what were you hoping to gain? Uh, I wanted to beat him at something. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Had he had he won against you in something else? It made you feel small. Uh, we, oh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this is not what I wanted to talk about, Josh. Um, he he would just everything I would say he would just not do, or he'd be like, "This is gay. I'm not fucking doing it. It's gay." And then. <laughs> I was like, you know what, Brendan, if I beat you at this rap battle, you have to read this book. You have to do it for the rest of the lesson. And all the kids yeah. like so excited. And, yeah, and I knew he didn't have the the skills to do a rap battle, so it was a bit <laughs> un, un, unfair. <laughs> but, uh, but he did get one line in. He in his. I made him go first, so I knew what I was dealing with. Also, he's twelve, I think, or thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was imagining a high schooler, like at least fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> maybe just a bit poorly behaved. What did he say? He he started off and he said, oh, "Miss, I think you teach like shit." I think you should suck every dick or something. And I was like, that's not bad. But he sort of just, fizz- he didn't have anything else to follow that up after yeah. that. So then yeah. I just went in hard. <laughs> um, Do you, please tell me you remember some of the lines that you used. Uh, and wait, this is special ed, right? Did you say this that? Is, yeah, but they're not that special. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. Because you said, you said that up top, you said diverse learning, but I think it's also important that we give context for what that means. Because like, I've heard you say on stage that, you know, it's not, uh, it's, it's just, it's problem kids, right? That's yes. mainly, it's behavioral yeah. issues. It's not always like, oh, this is, you know, someone who is, is challenged. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> this is someone who needs more structure and guidance. Than yes. The regular yes. Student. So, a lot of people in there have ADHD and like anxiety or something, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. and so you antagonised this kid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So to rub salt in the wound, I was like, "Get up the front." Um, <laughs> so I said something like, "I can't remember the rap, but it was something like Brendan Lucas, your face is like mucus. Everyone in this class thinks you're a doofus or something." <laughs> <laughs> and I won. So the, the, the message you need to take home is I won, me. Yeah. <laughs> so. And then he 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 sort of, he, he read the book, but like he, but through, like he, he got the book and like, I don't know if he sort of pretended to read it or not, but he just kept going, at lunchtime, I'll get you at lunchtime, miss. And I was like, nah, you had, nah, nah, you had your moment, mate. You couldn't do it. <laughs> no second chances. I get one bite of the cherry. So, um, and that caused, that was a mistake to do that, now reflecting on my practice, because it made the other kids in the class very, very excited yeah. um, and it made them forget about doing their work. And they just wanted right. me to do more raps and they didn't understand the, <laughs> the, the insults behind the rap at Brendan and they were all like, do one of me, miss, do one of me. And I was like, ugh. Yeah, they thought it was just a fun, friendly roast time and you were like, I am done with Brendan. I want to kill him, but I want to get away with it. 
pretty much. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to have a win over someone <laughs> who has some challenges in their life at age 13. Um, <laughs> Oh, but you would have done TV before that, right? Before Bake yeah. Off. And then yeah, on. yeah, like little little bits and bobs and stuff. But um, I had one kid who was a difficult, difficult young man who um, he found out that I did comedy and was he didn't like me. We didn't get on, Dylan and I. Um, <laughs> Why do they always have these names? They've always got the names of kids. <laughs> that I would assume the way it is. Problems. <laughs> And so I'm supervising, I've got a supervision for a, like a woodworking, a manual arts class or something, and the, every kid is just quietly doing what they're meant to do. And then it's really weird. I like hear this, this noise that's really familiar and I, I'm like, what is that? Where is that coming from? Like, it's me. So Dylan has opened his laptop and is playing a really old YouTube clip of me doing stand-up. <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate roast. <laughs> and he, um, he's 14 and he's sitting with his arms folded looking at it going not funny not laughing don't like that don't know what the audience are laughing at and I was like close your laptop <laughs> so I think even when they do find out that you do some form of showbiz then they're, they're never gonna be like oh that's amazing that's really great they always think you suck so Well, I mean, you know, and like they're just they're just kids as well. Like, uh, I I assume that you had. I mean, I I don't really know how the Australian school system works because I'm from New Zealand. But like, you would take drama. Drama was like an elective one. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, but it I feel was like- compul. Sorry, it was compulsory for all of the kids to try it out. Though I think in year eight right. and nine. Year uh, eight and nine, I had to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So uh, every okay. single kid is in your class, even though they hate it and have no interest in doing it in years 10, 11, and 12 at some point. Okay. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, right. So, but then like, was there a, surely then there were good bits of the day where you were like, oh, this is year 12, 11 drama. This is good. And then there were. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Some good bits. Yeah. Um, but it's, it was just very overwhelming being 22 and some of the kids in grade 12 were 18 and, it was just, um, yeah, I don't think I was, I don't think I had the right personality type to be a teacher at the time. Now I think I do, now I've matured more, but at the time I was just like, if I'm nice to them, they'll be nice to me. No, they won't. Right. Yeah. They're dogs. <laughs> They're ravenous. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I, I'm still on a list to go and do relief teaching, like, you know, like for one day when your teacher's away. Um, but what happens is they ring you in the morning at like, like six fifteen, and I see the number and I know it's them and I'm just like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of uh, you being recognised and some kid playing your like YouTube clips on his laptop and just nah, don't like it, <laughs> not good, not funny. <laughs> I got picked. I got picked up from school. So at this school, I don't. I don't think I own my own car at this point or something. So my dad picked me up one afternoon, and Dylan saw me and did literally did the thing like the kid from The Simpsons and just pointed and was like, "Ha ha!" And I'm like, <laughs> "Who cares? Like, <laughs> you're 14, you little fuck." Anyway. <laughs> I just like having to. Put, I guess the thing that uh, <laughs> is so funny, and I, I, you know, I, I never really thought about with teachers, and like, but you have made me think about, especially on stage, is just having you're subjecting yourself to the like the structure and the the dynamic of high school again. Like you're just putting yourself back in there and opening yourself up for ridicule from literally the worst types of people, mm. teenagers, just teenage and preteen kids. Yes. Yeah, they never think you're cool or fun or funny. You just, they just, and you, and if you say, well, guess what, guys? I do stand up comedy. And I don't know Dave Hughes. They go, oh, do you know? And it's always some YouTube 
comedian I've never fucking heard of. And I'm like, no, I've never, I don't know them. I don't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, please tell me you haven't pulled that out before. You've never used stand up comedy. <laughs> 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 Have <laughs> you really? Have you really <laughs> said I should do stand up comedy? Yes. <laughs> this is why you're picked on, Mel. <laughs> I did. I did. I don't know. I got pushed into a corner. <laughs> 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 oh man. Uh, high school fucking sucks. High school <laughs> sucks for everyone. For teachers, it sucks because you have to watch kids go through what you. I'm now mm-hmm. so embarrassed about that you went through, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, Dal- Dalton maintains that he had a really good high school experience. I loved high school. I loved high school too. I really liked it, but I'm just glad there's no evidence of what went on. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Glad, yeah, yeah. I'm glad it's yeah. all like chapped in people's minds, you know? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And I guess, yeah, I was, in the, I was in the group that was always like fucking with the teachers. Mm-hmm. Which now that I feel is horrible not surprising. about. <laughs> <laughs> you feel bad Thank about you, it now? Uh, well, not really. It was pretty funny. But, <laughs> okay. like, you know, also I was one of the kids where just every teacher in your head is 50 years old. Mm-hmm. And then you graduate and you're like, oh, they were all 22. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, we could yes. have just hung out and been friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, when what? I was 20, yeah, I was 22 my first year out. And I said, how old do you think I am? And like all the kids, they just they just can't tell how old you are. They'd be like forty one. <laughs> like, why even close? Why are you opening yourself up to this? <laughs> why are you telling people you know Dave Hughes and getting them to guess your age? <laughs> These are all things I don't do anymore. 